computer and see if it. All righty. Well, hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us for this Power Hour, where we will be talking about how to get your mind, body, and your spirit right here at New Life Second Chance Outreach. What we do here at New Life Second Chance Outreach is we are a Georgia 501c3 organization that works and empowers individuals who are just as involved. That means at some point, whether it's an arrest or a criminal record or a conviction, that is causing them at some point to find challenges with employment and housing and, and working on what they're reentering. What we do is we empower them through uh, job readiness, career readiness, entrepreneurship, and all things in between to allow them to be whole and fully restored and equipped um, to be back in their communities. And one of the topics that we're going to be talking about throughout this new year, we're talking about how to be well financially, how to be well mentally, and how to be well physically. And so today we uh, have one of our board members, Sharon Sadler, who is a health and wellness expert on her own, who has decided to come on and talk to us a little bit more about how we can be health, um, how we can live well and be well mentally, physically, and spiritually in 2022 to maximize our blessings all the way around and be whole. So thank you so much for joining us, Miss Sharon, and thanking you for blessing you. Uh, thank you for blessing us with your expertise on how, um, how we can live well physically um, you know, a lot of times we always talk about, we just want to get a job. We want to get housing. We want to do things. And those are all good and very you know, good and needed things for people who have returned from prison or in jail or who may have never even been to prison or incarcerated. Um, but we can't just let that be the only thing that drives mm -hmm. us. Yes, we need a job. Yes, we need housing. We need access to medical care, health care and uh, things to help us out spiritually, you know, like exactly. you know, being able to connect with places of worship and also being able to have a therapist. But one of the mm. things we also need to work on is how we can take care of ourselves. I've learned yeah. over the years with myself when I was having my challenges with, once I got out of prison, it was all about why people won't hire me, why people won't hire me. And I think I also learned in the same thing with relationships. A lot of mm -hmm. times, whether our relationships are bad, <clears throat> our money is funny, and all these other things is going on, it's because we haven't dealt with things that's going on with ourselves. Mm -hmm. My health was bad. I was stressed yes. out. I was emotionally not right. And my money wasn't right. I wasn't spiritually right. So these are also things we need to work on. And so I'm glad you're on today to talk to us about how we can live well in 2022 physically, mm -hmm. mentally, and spiritually. So we're just going to break it down in three sections on those three things. And I just wanted to ask you first, the first question is, how can we be, how can we be well? Let's start with the mind. Because I think starting with the mm -hmm. mind is always right. Like, when you get the mind right, everything else will fall in place. Um, yeah. So how can we be well mentally in 2022? Do you have some tips on what we should be doing? to okay, take care of okay. our Well, let me, can I, can I give a little bit of me? Tell yes, us give us a little bit about you. Tell us Just about a you. a tiny bit, not much, you know, and everything, but I am Sharon Sattler and I'm married to Rob Sattler. He is an amazing man and a loving man, a loved one that loves the Lord. And we have a blended family. We have a blended family of, four, of seven children, all total. Uh, an array of great of grandchildren and array, believe it or not, of great grands. And we have been married like three and a half years. And I often tell everybody he still likes me. So, uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, as a result, uh, I'm the uh, type of person where we have uh, come along and, and together. And so I'm basically like a community advocate. You know, I call myself, I always say, I love to get in other people's business, but I like to get in your business in a good way. And so being there, being part of different organizations such as this one, such as OAA, Dream Girls, I'm um, a mentor there, and uh, just other little organizations that I'm part of. And, and that's a little bit of me and, and the part that you were engaging on uh, 
Walisha, concerning the mind. You know, there's a scripture that says in Hosea 4 and 6, and that's going to be my disclaimer. Yes, I heard you say expert. I'm going like, oh my God, an expert. A disclaimer I'm going to have, I'm just going to give you the information that has kept me and that where I have read on others. And the people, we are people that are just, are destroyed by a lack of knowledge taken from Hosea. That will encompass not only our minds, our bodies and our spirit, because when we lack in knowledge and when we lack in understanding, when we lack in direction, spiritually and naturally, we are destroyed and that destroyed doesn't mean necessarily our bodies, but there you go. It destroys the mind, the spirit is destroyed. And after that, the body, because we just going to go about and do anything that we want to do. So as far as the, you were asking about the mind, the mind is a, a, a an amazing thing, isn't it? You know, the things that we think about, the things that we allow to come into our minds and we, we can either let the good come in or not the good. That's up to us. And so by those choices, in the beginning, God gives choices. You got a choice to think good or you got a choice not to think good. That's left up to us. But that choice, he, but he even tells you, he said, think on something good. Think on the good thing. Think on it if it's good, if it's lovely. Does it bring a good report? Does it edify? Does it draw people closer to you or away from you? So that mind is a mechanism that is uh, made by the Lord that, that he said in, in Psalm that it is, um, uh, I mean, he has designed it so designed it so that we can receive great things from the Lord. So with that mind, um, the word says, he did not give you a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. So that's what he gives us. But then again, we got a choice. Do I want to have a sound mind or do I not want to have a sound mind? So I, I kind of hope that, that that helped you out a little bit on uh, concerning our minds and what we what we think about daily. Yes, thank you so much. And I wanted to, um, and I and I wanted invited you on as a speaker because you have motivated me throughout my journeys of attending those Tuesday night support groups uh, for formerly incarcerated people. And one of the biggest things that you have really instilled into my spirit was the power of the word no. I was always a very giving person and not only just giving, giving to the point where I give so yeah. much of myself that I was draining. And yes. it was you who a couple of months ago that said, well, it's your baby, just say no. And I said, that is so hard for me. To, that is so hard for me to say no. Mm -hmm. um, why is it so hard to say no? And that's basically what you said. You, it shouldn't be hard. No is a <laughs> sentence in itself it doesn't need to be explained when you say no you just say no and i since i have been practicing that that has helped me mentally with so many things because with me saying no has re, me saying no has reduced my level of stress because yeah. i felt stressed or obligated to do things for people especially things that they could do themselves by me saying no it has allowed me to keep money in my pocket by me saying no, it has allowed me to free up my time because I was always <laughs> ripping and running and doing everything for everybody else yeah. and supporting other people. So that one little two letter word has allowed me to be able to say no. No, I'm not loaning you any money. No, I'm not coming to three or four of your events this week. No, I'm not going to let you talk to me any kind of way. And yeah. it has really helped. And not only my mentally, but when you say no now, like you said, things trickle down. Because now, since I'm mm -hmm. not renting so much like a food for you, that has helped my body exactly. to get what I need. So everything is like a domino effect. So, and when we when we're working with folks here at New Life, those are the things that we want to work on too. Your mindset. You are, mm -hmm. and it says that in the word. I know we haven't gotten to the actual spiritual part yet, but it says that in the word that so as a man thinketh, 
that he yeah. is. So if you think that you are already yeah. defeated by having a felony because you went to prison, mm -hmm. that is nothing but the devil. You can't be defeated because there are folks yeah. on this line who have been to prison, who exactly. may have had it worse than you, but they're doing great jobs. They're leading organizations. Mm -hmm. They're making change. They're activists. They're organizers. So you got to change your mindset. And I tell people all the time, everybody mm -hmm. used to say we are what we eat, but I truly believe we are who we mm -hmm. hang with and we are who we think we are. And if you yes, think yes. you're going to be successful and you put it in your mind that you're going to be successful, you can get out of the own prison of your head. Exactly. So exactly. I'm so, I, I love the whole, anything talking about how to be well in the mind. Um, I yes, want yes. to find out just a little bit more about getting well in our mind. Uh, what are your thoughts on things? Or what are some things that you think we could do to help our mindset? You know, whether it's therapy, meditation. I know yoga's for the body, but I hear that also yes. helps the mind too. Um, so we'll talk about that more in the physical part. But what are some things that you would suggest if I came to you and said, Miss Sharon, I'm having a hard time mentally. What are some things that you, as my sister friend and my spirit in Christ and my sister mm -hmm. in Christ would tell me that could help me mentally, whether it's medication, meditation, yeah. uh, or even saying no, what are some things or some, maybe one mm -hmm. or two golden nuggets you can tell us to help us with our, to help our get our mind right? You know, you, you spoke on a couple of those things that sometimes we have to gear ourselves toward, and that is meditation or uh, medication where I believe in the meditation of where I'm in my Bible and I'm finding scriptures to help keep me on track. I post look uh, statements around the house or in my mirror that I, I, I watch every day, all the time. I'm looking at those words that need to be embedded in my life and and I, I remember when I'm, even when I'm talking to Dana or either to the children or something like that, and I'm, I'm moving along, uh, I see words, I'm a word, I, I have a play on words. And I pull those words to uh, bring me up out of a slump play. Like I was saying earlier about, I uh, um, heard the song, hadn't heard it in years by the Gap Band, Outstanding. And that word, when I heard outstanding, that word brought my mind to how outstanding the Lord is. He makes me want to shout. And I just added my words into it. And as I did it, and then, you know, saying how he satisfies me. So I, in myself, I post words or I try to connect myself with people of like minds. Most times we have too many voices in our ears. We have a lot. We feel like, well, okay, you know, this my friend, and I've been like that. That's my friend, and you know, I don't want to hurt a feeling. I don't want to hurt his feeling. Excuse me, and you're the one that's tossing and turning all night long while they're resting well. So we need to be cognizant of the type of people we allow to speak into our ears. You know, they come by hearing and hearing our hearing. That's what. What are you hearing? Who are you listening to? What are you allowing your mind to be motivated to? Are you going to be motivated to excel and do well? Or are you going to be motivated to, to, to fall beneath the cracks and just say, woe is me every time somebody see you or hear from you? That, that plays on your mind. Like I said, th this mind is intricately made by the Lord to, to, to receive good, but it's up to you. There we go with choices again. You know, so I hope that answered in such a way. But I love the cards. I put cards around. And then, and and I have been to, hey, I'm saved and I still see a therapist because sometimes you just need to talk to somebody. So, you know, most people would say, oh, no, uh-uh, no, 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 no. I just yeah. enjoy talking to you because that, that's a freeing that comes. You know, somebody just listening. You know, mm. some people say, well, you, you ain't got to go that far. You know, no, that's me. That's where I am. With well, it. I appreciate you saying that because um, I actually do have a, a t-shirt line and that is one t-shirts in my mm -hmm. line that uh, Jesus is all good and dandy, but sometimes you need medication and a therapist too, you know? Okay. So, and that is, <laughs> that is actually true. But um, exactly. so now we're going to transition into the body. 
Uh, yeah. What are some tips that, that I know every time I'm seeing you, if I got some fried chicken in my hand, you got something completely different and probably more <laughs> healthier in your hand. But what are some tips that you can give us? Ooh, what are some tips you can give us on um, getting our body well in 2022? Ooh, ooh. You have asked for the big wheels. And if I may read this, this is from a lady by the name of Janet Macario. She talks about the immune system. The immune system is the body mechanism that protects it against harmful invaders. You got to keep your, you hear people say, how was their immune system? Their immune system must have been weak. This particular um vehicle, if I can call it that, which they call it the, a marvelous vehicle, the immune system. It's, I call it the big wheels of the body. That's the part that you really want to protect against anything because it has invaders that come into the body. You got different viruses and sicknesses that come into the body. And when that immune system don't line up and you're not uh, in a place where you eat healthy, I, I have a little car, I have some little cars that say, your health is your first wealth. It's your first wealth. I don't care what kind of money and everything that you get, your health is your first wealth. So that immune system, we got to get it moving. It's, and let me read this, what she said. She said the immune system is, she stated, is the greatest pharmacy in the world. It makes more than 100 billion types of medicines which are called antibodies, what everybody's talking about right now, including, you know, within the COVID, to attack just about any unwanted germ or virus that enters the body. It, it's what keeps you healthy and make you well against any kind of viral, bacterial, or fungus infection. Your immune system is your personal army. And it's guard against, it. it's, it's your guard 24 hours a day. You can exercise, you can do whatever is necessary, but if that immune system ain't up to speed, it's like you're going to drag, you fatigue, you don't want to do anything, you don't want to be with anybody. I mean, you're just all out of source. So your immune system, which is a marvelous vehicle that you have to carry with you from now on, Let, can I say this? And I always use this scenario. You know, when we go take our cars to the mechanic, I mean, especially now the cars that we got, man, you go up there, you drive up there, you want the best. You want the man to go and make, you said, check it from the top to the bottom. You want to bring in all the big guns concerning your car, because that, that gets you around. But then when it comes to our bodies, why do we fall short? Well, I'll get to it. That well, makes a well, point because our body got to get us around too. So it got to get you around. It's, it's got to take you places. It's your. It's a vehicle. That car. You can always get another car, but this right here, one, <laughs> one. You only get one. So you got to take care of this thing. So you got to eat healthy in order to be wealthy mm. in, in wherever you go, because you. you hey, what about it? You know, like you made the statement about the chicken, you enjoyed it. But then after a while, you, hey, that body tells you, now, you know, you weren't even supposed to have it anyway. You just was hungry. You just want to grab something and just put it in your mouth. And then late at night, your body started talking to you, you know, and it says, can you hear me now? There you go. You, you know, you're hurting because you know you, you, you weren't to be on that page. So we have to hear where our bodies our bodies speak to us, believe it or not. Your body speaks to you. It tells you, you feel a little pain here. And it's, hey, well, I've never felt that before. It's trying to tell you something you had in you. It wasn't supposed to be in you. Hmm. So in order to uh, move forward, you have to, you know, make sure you're eating a healthy diet. And then there, and most time now with our food and how the earth is shifting like it is, we have to have supplements. So we need supplements to help supplement, to help keep this, this motor going. Just like you want things to, to be in that car and make sure that all the oil is just right, you need supplements. And that's your oil right there also. Okay. 
Well, thank you. And I know eating well is also one of the great, um, one of the good, you know, recommendations when you mm-hmm. want to talk about your physical health, but I do know exercise is pretty good. And also yes. with me being, uh, you know, an overweight woman, exercise is not a friend of mine. I hate doing yes. it, but I do know that I make, it's a little bit more fun when I do it with somebody else. And so there are a lot of goals and stuff I wanted to do with that, but I know for Sometimes we have to do things a little bit modified. Um, I wanted to just talk about, are there any suggestions, you know, with these new craves, uh, people either going to be vegetarian or pescatarian or even outright vegan. Are there Mm -hmm. any recommended tips? I know you talked about the immune system. So my first is a two-part question. Are Mm -hmm. there any foods that we can eat that are friends to our immune system? And secondly, um, are there any type of, what type of health plan do you go by? Are you vegetarian or do you try to avoid pork? What is it that you do? Because you, you, you have a beautiful head of gray hair. You, you, you are a beautiful, young, experienced woman and you are in good health. So we on the line, I want to be able to live and be like Miss Sharon one day when I get to be your age. So are there some tips that you are doing? Cause I'm, you know, or is this a lifestyle that you, uh, have always had, or is it something you just came to be? No. So the first question is that what can we eat or do differently to help our immune system? Um, I know people say oranges and stuff like that, but I don't know yeah. if that has to do with the immune system. And then secondly, <laughs> are there any eating habits or tips mm-hmm. that you could give us? You know, uh, I'm, I'm so glad you brought, brought that up because I just heard this man yesterday was talking about how to, how to cut uh, almost thir- over 30% of any type of heart attacks or high blood pressure or strokes in your life. And he was telling about the particular things that we can eat. And he was talking, he, and he said a cup of greens per day would reduce it by 30%. He said a half a cup of beans per day would pr- reduce it by 30%. And berries and nuts would cut it by 30%. So with myself, uh, pork eater I've never been that big of a we're pretty much a big meat eater I eat it but I'm just not all out there with it but I believe in breakfast I definitely believe in breakfast and a lot of people don't believe in breakfast but I love breakfast and most of the time I'm, I'm eating uh, my grains I'm having my grains and 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 I heard you mention about um, I'm jumping around um, when you mentioned about the vegan and 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 uh, pescatarian and all the different terrians there are, but you know um, the new buzzword is the plant based, which is part of the the vegan diet also, and I like it. That's where I am. I've had that challenge and still working in that in that arena. And your your green leafy vegetables. You definitely need you need the ones that's bitter, and you need the ones that that are better. You you have bitter ones, which is kale and dandelion and arugula, you know stuff like that. But then you need your vegetables. You need to have your vegetables. Your salads are good. Then you need your fruits. You need all types of fruits. You need to be eating on your fruits to keep keep things balanced in your diet. And then you need your fruits. I mean, I'm sorry. You need your nuts. You need to eat nuts, walnuts. Uh, they have the uh, pecans. That's part of that. Um, sometimes you, if you're a, a cashew person, not many people are that way, but especially walnuts that are great to, to eat. And it has to be, what word I want to use? You, you have to really want to get in there and eat it. Sometimes you look at that, that meal and say, man, I need more than this. And especially if you want to diverge from eating meat. And there are those in and and plant-based, they have a substitute that is very good. It's very good. But you know, some people say that, well, you know, that ain't real. Well, you know, th- that's where I am with that and how I would eat. It's that's the way my mother uh had raised us. And I, I tell you a little uh uh thing you know I hope nobody throw anything at me I would my mother come from Lochapoca you probably heard of it and uh she uh said that she told the Lord said you ever got me out of the country I will never give my children pork 
and she never did. So when we finally saw what pig feet and chitlins and what is it, pig ears, when we finally saw, we would tell people, what's that? You know, and they said, oh, you don't know nothing about that. I said, mm -mm, my mama never gave us anything like that. That's, oh, what's wrong with you? But no, she was in her own way trying to get us healthy then. So we knew to adopt that. Yes, of course, my brothers and sisters, they tried that that type of lifestyle, but found out uh, it didn't go well, especially with our digestive system. Because once you start eating healthy, your whole, I must say for myself, your whole digestive tract changes. You change. Oh, and I believe that. And I think with, uh, and I know it's not eating healthy, but when you're incarcerated, it's not really necessarily eating healthy, but you actually eat way less than what you would on the outside mm -hmm. and the crap they give you in the inside. So definitely when you've been incarcerated, once you get out and you talk about take me to the nearest Chinese place or Wendy's <laughs> and McDonald's, oh, believe me, your stomach and everything else is going to let you know uh, that what you ate. So I can definitely understand that, but it's so hard and difficult. And I actually tried it a couple of weeks ago. I went and got me a can of black beans and some mushrooms and carrots, and I made me some black bean burgers. Oh. And I don't know if you saw my post on Facebook, but I did that thing up, put my lettuce and tomatoes on it, and oh it actually God. tasted like, uh, I didn't use it with bread, because I said, I want to try something this time without bread. And it was yeah. really good. But I had some the next day or two I did, and I put it on there with a bun, and it actually tasted it tasted good. It was not uh -huh. something that I, that was terrible for me. And when I go to Burger King, of course, I know I'm not doing as good as I probably should. Mm -hmm. You know, I may grab fries instead of a salad. Yeah. But this is the problem, too, with people who are poor. They make eating healthy so expensive. You mm -hmm. know, yesterday I went to go because I try to treat myself once a week to get something to eat. And when I went, I said, well, Alicia, don't you get the fried sandwich, get the <laughs> baked sandwich. So I got the baked sandwich. Uh-huh. And then I said, um, and you have a question, and we're gonna let you answer that in a minute. Then I said, don't get the French fries, get the okay. fruit. Don't get the soda. Tell her you want to get the flavored water. Do you know the entire meal was seven dollars more because I chose to get baked chicken sandwich as opposed to uh -huh. the fried chicken sandwich? They charged me an extra three dollars for the small bowl of fruit cup. And then they said for the water, it was going to be two, two fifty or three extra dollars. I said, man, if you could just give me the regular combo. So yes, I did leave there with a fried sandwich, French fries and a soda because it was $7 cheaper. And I felt bad about it, but then I kind of didn't feel bad because this is why we are unhealthy. Yeah. It should be a blessing. They should actually give you a discount when you choose to get a salad over French fries, mm -hmm. you know, but I can see why we are so unhealthy because it's more expensive. And so yeah. when I go in the store, if I can't afford, I love uh, asparagus, but if I can't afford the yes. fresh asparagus, I will get the canned asparagus, even though it's not yeah. healthy, at yeah. least I know it's better. So I have been trying to make a little thing. I bought some vegan cheese and um, I want to try to make me a vegan meatloaf. So I'm, I'm, I, I love meat. And my biggest thing is I love bacon. And I want to share with you. So I definitely want to do, do that. And then I wanted to give you to answer this question. Kelton said, you spoke yeah. about supplements. What yeah. are supplements that we need to take daily? Yeah, you definitely need your multivitamins. I hear, you know, get you a good one. You have to go to the health food store. And you can also get, now that your, your, your pharmacy uh, have, have uh, good vitamins and and uh, but your health food store, that's one that I I enjoy and has done well for my body. It's called Life Source, and I have enjoyed it. And uh, the funny thing, Kelton, for you to bring that up when I go into the health food store and I'm trying to get like I'm getting my essential oils and I need something a little bit extra. There are more men, more men than I've seen in a long time in the health food store than I've seen in a long time. And a majority of them go and get that particular vitamin called Life Source. You can either get it a liquid or you can get it as a vitamin. And um, and that's one thing you wanna stay on. Of course, you hear the, the, the healthcare industry saying, keep your D3s up, keep your vitamin C up, keep your zinc especially, 
up. You definitely need that in this season. What is zinc basic, for? What zinc, is zinc? I'm, gonna get, I'm glad you brought that up. I'm glad you I marked it right here just for you. Zinc, especially the deficiency in having zinc means it's a loss of taste and smell, white spots on the fingernails, uh, it 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 uh, when you zinc uh, deficient, you fatigue, you have hair loss, mm. you have poor vision, you have prostate problems, you have you have trouble healing. So you notice in the COVID season, they said make sure you up your zinc. You've been hearing them say get your zinc. You need that because that's what that's a telltale sign of when people ask you, do you have a loss of taste or smell? And you can you can tell through this. So what you don't want to be is zinc deficient. You know, you got to have it anyway, especially as we've gotten older. I'm 71. And as we have gotten older, uh, we just need to up our, our supplements. So and our vitamins and and these are just uh you know just the beginning you can add on as you go as you see some things going on and your b vitamins you ask you need your b vitamins everybody need their b vitamin you need vitamin b you need vitamin 12 you need vitamin b1 you need uh, and what do they help what the b what does the b vitamins help with your b vitamins right there i am glad you asked that they, these vitamins help your indigestion, it helps uh, with energy, it helps you to keep your stamina up, it helps with stress. If you're a stressful person, you need uh, 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 your, your B vitamins, especially your B12, to help keep you from having uh, any type of bone loss or any type of dizziness or, or lethargic. You just be the lethargic. But if your B12, a, a lot of times people have started now going to the doctor just to get B12 shots because they they know they're being depleted and that B12 just need and it's in your food. There's even a, a egg called Eglin. It has B your 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 eggs have your B12s in them. You know, even though if you're a vegan person and uh you they ask you how you gonna get your B12. So you got to do a substitute in 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 and doing that and getting your B12 vitamins. So we all need it. If you have any kind of digestive disorder, B12 is good for that. So you need to go and get your B complex and get you good some good vitamins. I, I, I know we got some people out there, you know, saying, hey, do I, you know, how much it gonna cost? We, we don't ask that when we go get our, our call service, do we don't ask how much it costs? We just go and get it done. You're right. So, well, and a multivitamin. So you can just basically just a, a, a multivitamin. If a person really just want to take one thing, they could just get one multivitamin. But I do, yes. from my understanding, I've been told that a multivitamin really only got a little dab of each thing in it. That's so if you easy. were to take a multivitamin, you should also probably take a calcium. Or, it seems like you're going to be taking 12 pills. It you just seems like a lot of pills. A little bit more. Yep. Okay. You do, especially when you got gotten older. You definitely have to have a little bit more. You just need a little bit more. Uh, what's that? We I'm just using the car as a uh, as a mechanism. Yeah. You know, sometimes maybe eight, 87 ain't hitting it, so you need eighty nine. Okay. If you're eighty nine, I'll get it ninety three. Okay. Okay. So, would you on your from your own personal experiences? I know you say you may be taking a lot of multi of vitamins during mm -hmm. the day. I do. do you do you feel that gummies? Because those of us who hate to take medicine, we try to find the easiest way to go out. And we say we'll take a gummy. <laughs> are gummies are gummies good and potent, or would you probably recommend pills or, or liquids and stuff? Because I just hate taking pills. It's easier for me to chew a gummy. People, I have tried the gummies. The gummies are nice. I'm just not on that page. I just rather swallow and, and keep it moving, okay. you know. So, but the gummies are good. Just get okay. your good gummies. I know they mm -hmm. have women's one a day vitamins. They have men one a day vitamin, but I've mm -hmm. seen in the store they do have it broken down for older people who are over sixty. Yes. They got vitamins. I don't know about young people having vitamins, but mm -hmm. uh, I guess if if you have to tell somebody to do anything, I guess taking a multivitamin and you said zinc. Definitely your yeah, and your B vitamin complex. Stay on your zinc. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so yeah. much. Did anybody have any questions about the physical part before we transition to the 
spiritual. Oh, oh we have somebody, a question. Should we have magnesium? What is magnesium hey, for? Magnesium. Glad you asked that one. Magnesium. You know, when you're deficient in it, it says you have insomnia, irritability, confusion. You even have muscle spasm because, you know, uh, bananas have magnesium in it. And, uh, mm. and it also has potassium in it. But when you're not lacking in it, you have uh, certain you, 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 people, there's a, a, a condition that comes in there in, in your body that even messes with your pulmonary area, which is your lungs. And um, I'm one, I do, I do magnesium, but I, I take it at night because it bet, it goes through the body better when you take it at night. Magnesium and calcium, it does. It's like uh, this particular author said, it's like a transportation system. It goes through the body and guess what it helps? It helps you sleep. Okay, it so helps. if you're going to take your magnesium and calcium, it's probably best to take them at night. It take them at night. I'm going to have to go ahead and go to the store and go and order me some stuff. I'm doing, I'm no wonder I'm so mean and cranky and hurting because I'm not taking anything. I don't take my vitamins, I don't take vitamins at all. And I think part of it is, you know, I had weight loss surgery last year and okay. my stomach is already so little. So if I, if I told you all the pills I have to take, I'd be taking pills all day and I just got to really get on it. And I just think I'm just being lazy about it. So I'm yeah. definitely going to add magnesium. Just take, take your time and going through the transition of it and everything, because everything is in a time frame. But that that you should, uh, you know, have as far as what you're taking, you know, just, you know, there are people that just run and they just go get everything. But, you know, I see about fish oil. What's that? I be seeing them in the store called fish oil. What are they for? And is it even necessary to take it? It is necessary. I think if I'm if I can get my my mind around it, it's your omega threes oh, that heart. you need. In your body, because it helps along the way. It's like a transportation system that helps in the body. I thought I had a little. I think uh, that's with the heart. Anything with omega threes, they say help your heart and cholesterol. Okay. And, and, and believe it or, or not, okay. Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> that's it. Uh, 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 believe it or not, most of our doctors, uh, they they recommend they put it on your 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 chart. To get fish oil. He said, Oh, she said Omega is the goat. <laughs> I told Kelton, I said, told him to drop the uh, link. He should be using our Amazon Smile account too. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, and whenever y'all shop on week? Amazon, use Amazon Smile okay. and you'll be able to your purchase. Amazon would donate a very small amount to New Life. At no well, cost to you. <laughs> well, I'll get my next batch of, uh, uh, yes, she also agrees. I take it myself. It, it, it helps your, your mind. It helps to regulate you. Uh, and, you know, it, it, it's, it's just a help. It's one okay. of the supplements that just help you along the way. Well, thank you. Did anybody have any other questions before we move to spiritual? Cause I know they're probably Sharon's favorite. Oh, listen. <laughs> Omega know. grows the edges. Well, I need to get that because let me tell you something yeah. you mentioned about banana. Mm -hmm. I hate bananas. Anything with banana, I hate it. But last night I put avocado, honey, and banana and mixed it up and put it on my hair as a moisturizer. Now it was good okay. enough to go on my hair, but I could not put it in my body. I hate bananas. So you know, I got to figure out something. I don't like banana pudding. I don't like nothing with banana in it. So I'm going to have to at least do that. You know, um, I, I'm i a banana lover. And you know, I just saw this today that uh, people that suffer with migraine headaches should not eat bananas because really? there is there is something called tryptophan, if I'm not mistaken, that that's in it that triggers the migraines to happen. But I'm a banana lover. I mean, every day that's in my lunch is bananas. And uh, I, I love bananas. But, you know, there's some people that just can't digest uh, them well. And that's fine. So what you need to do as far as 
um, your your potassium or whatever, you know, just go another direction. You can get you 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 have a liquid potassium, but that's just my personal opinion. I wouldn't advise that. I would just try to get it through my greens, my green leafy vegetable. I try to get if I if you you know certain and your magnesium you can get all you can definitely get it through your foods you just using that your supplements as an advantage right there but you can get your potassium your magnesium your 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 seeds and your eat you can get that through your food if you would eat that like uh you know your green leafy vegetable eat your bitter greens you have bitter greens people don't like bitter greens but they are they are just as healthy and wealthy as that and you, especially your fruits, I'm a kiwi lover. I love kiwi. It's rich in vitamin C. There's watermelon. There are blueberries that's needed. That's an antioxidant. Uh, strawberries. You got, uh, uh, and um, one of the other, which is a grapefruit. Some people like it. Some people don't. Avocado. Good love fat. Avocado. It is good fat. It has good fat. And uh, so... You have those in your grapes, your red grapes. Some people, you know, divert to the green. But What's the red, difference between red and green grapes? It's more of an antioxidant, more uh, for the body and the nutrient of the body in the red than it is in the green. The green is good, but red have a lot more antioxidants in it than your green. You know, but both are good. Okay, uh, yeah, I like avocado and I like, and I like beets. I love yeah, beets. beets. Do you love beets? I put beets on my salad and you can't really taste them anyway. So why not put them on your salad? People, it's to me, it's like sour cream. Sour cream has no taste. So beets don't have a taste. So when you put it on your salad, that just be my little thing. I tell you, I don't be trying to go 100% healthy, but any little thing I can do, I try to do that. And um, I saw, uh, actually, I love Tabitha Brown. She's vegan. And um, yes, I be watching yes. her and a few other folks. And they said, instead of using salad dressing on your salads, just get you a real lemon and squeeze lemon juice on it. So I've been trying to do yeah. little things like that. But yeah, I like yeah. beets. I am the beet queen. Oh, man. <laughs> I love okay. beets. I love and that beets. is my, I get a, I have a powder beet that I put in my super, uh, I make me a little super drink every day. And I put, it's a beet powder. And I pour that in there along with my kale and spirulina and another, uh, um, uh, superfood that I put in. I just mix it up. It's just a little drink that I just have on my way out the door to work. You know, that's just okay. something to get a little energy going. You know, I'm going to tell you this. I, I laugh at myself. I uh, um, I laugh at myself because when I get up in the morning and I, I'm, I'm, I'm in, and I do, I still drink my coffee and, and I do a, a, my little olive oil regimen. But I know after I did all this, I want everybody happy. <laughs> When they get through, I want, I want to know why people be dragging them on. Why are you dragging? What's wrong with you? Well, see, I don't pump myself up, you know, and I took all this stuff in the morning. So I'm ready to rock and roll. You know, I see people, they want to drag a little bit and they got that look on it. That's why you looking like that, you know. But I just I just want to throw it. I, I laughed at myself this morning when I just got all myself together and was happy. And that's why other people ain't happy, you know, but. I just beet powder. What do you, what is Shonda? What do you use beet powder for? Well, she, so she uses my, beet powder. She uses beet powder. Okay, I use it in my smoothie. You can use it. You can use it in your smoothies. And I'm trying to think if you can put it in your. I never put it in my salad. I always have fresh beets, oh. so I never put it in my salad. But uh, um, the 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 beet powder, you can put it. And I wish I could put my hands on it right now, and but you can put it in your uh, in your drinks. You can put it in. Uh, you might be able to put it over a meal. It it shouldn't hurt. It shouldn't hurt at all if you put it in a meal. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you like quinoa? No. Or do you it don't even sound is? right. <laughs> it looked like little rice. I didn't try it one time, but it yeah, just don't. Mm -mm. Beads when they get through cooking, it's like little bitty beads that you look at. It's a great grain to eat any time of the day. Really? But I, I wanted to bake, piggyback on something you said. You said something about asparagus, which is excellent for you. Asparagus, you notice, have sulfur in it. 
And you know how you, it has sulfur in it because when you go to the bathroom, you have a sulfuric smell. And so uh, that's what it has in it. It has in sulfur, so sulfur is good. But when you uh, don't get it fresh and you get it out the can, pour that water off and okay. add to some spices to it. Add you some uh, type of spice or thyme. That's excellent. Add thyme. Add a little garlic if you love garlic. Any garlic lovers out there, you need garlic. You need you eat your garlic. You will know that garlic is good for you. You and guess what I say when you eat garlic? You know who your friends are. Mm. <laughs> so, <laughs> but <laughs> but okay. um, with your asparagus, just pour that water off. And put your twist, put your spices and, and herbs, you know, whatever you want in it. You know, uh, bay leaves. Bay leaves. Bay leaves make the difference. They may make the difference in okay. any meal. Okay. Yes. Well, I hate yeah. breakfast, so I think I'm going to start a smoothie, and I think I'm going to go online it's to good. order some yeah. beet powder. Sh Shandia says she, I hate breakfast. And I got to do better at least because I heard that actually jump starts your metabolism. So I think I'm going to start doing exactly. a smoothie in the morning. I think I'm going to go online, exactly. like Shondell said, and get some beet powder. So Shondell, if you get that or you order it, drop the link in. And also, Kelton, drop the link of the life source vitamins that you're going to get. So for the last 10 minutes, we because we only want to make this an hour, we're going to talk about mm -hmm. five minutes about spiritual. What can we do spiritually? What can we do in 2022 to help us? spiritually be well to be spiritually well to be spiritually well you have to connect with the father this is just in me you got to couldn't have a connection you got to be focused on what you desiring to 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 be and to do i i when even before 22 came in i said a new you and 22. And you do have to have that. As Fawn said, you do. You have to have a personal relationship with the Lord. You, you, we can uh get we can get all hyped up and and uh with all the the, the latest uh things that happen as far as uh getting with different groups or in conventions and different things that we go to, but at the end of the day. We spiritually, we need to have a connection as far as a personal relationship with the father. We have to, like I would say, get in his face and talk to him. You know, our young people, to me, I have listened to them and, and, and uh, looked at their way of doing things, which some people would frown on. They said, you know, you don't, you don't defy the things of the Lord like that. You don't talk to God like that. But if they're getting an answer, I believe they already got a connection. Because if they get in the space and say, God, what's up with this? You know, and if they can 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 open the door to having a relationship with him, because he said, Come unto me, all you that are heavy laden. Come. I I I got I I have what you need. And so when you get that. That, that that relationship with him like never before you got to connect and once you connect with him you got to stay focused sometimes we lose our focus we go to here and there and everywhere instead of to the father and just lay it it's, there's a songwriter who wrote a song lay it all down we got to get to the place where after at the end of the day when we've done us when you've done you you need to go to him too. When you have done you, you need to go to him too and lay it all down. Say, all of this is before me, Lord. I, I, I need some direction. The 23rd Psalm is really a, 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 a psalm that a lot of people, they say no, and they do. I believe they do. But it is so much just in those few verses that you can't even exhaust. He is your shepherd. Everything you need is in him. And when you connect, you have to have a connection, which is that personal relationship with him. Now, when you do that and you connect and he tells you things and he talks to you, some, you know, some, you know, that audible voice mm -hmm. that you would, that some people say that they were here. 
that he will direct you and give you uh, when you lack in understanding, when you lack in direction. Proverbs, I think, at 3, 5, and 6 says, trust in him with all your heart. Stop leaning on to your own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he'll direct your path. That's enough within itself. Trust him. Everything you got, you got to trust him. You know, we, we go and we trust everybody else but him. Even to the, you know, our eating habits, until the things that we're doing. But trust him first. Say, okay, I've heard Miss Sharon say something about uh, uh, eating healthy. I've heard her say something about uh, recognizing different herbs and spices, trying making a change and twist. So he will give you everything you need according to his riches and glory. He'll start giving you things. He'll start telling you things. You'll start, like you said, something told me. You know how you would do that part? Something told me. He's already speaking to you right there. He's already saying what to do. And so spiritually, all it, this is what it says. The body is a lifestyle. The spirit is your desire, what you're desiring that you want different. And then your mind is your belief system. So all three of these are going to come in together. All of them are going to work together for your good. They're going to work together for your good because what you believe and you desire and how you want to, your, to spend your life. You want that personal relationship. And once you get that relationship, you can learn about anything you want. Anything you want because he's going to lead and guide you in all truth. So that's Oh, thank you so that. much. Did anybody mm -hmm. have any questions that we're right into the spirit? Uh, I'm going to ask one quick one and hopefully somebody else will answer that. Are there any particular scriptures in the Bible that talk about wellness or anything that you can kind of point mm -hmm. out? Like I know it said, you know, certain things we shouldn't put in our bodies. Uh, I'm not a big Bible reader, so I couldn't, you know, you, you've thrown them scripts, you know the word. And even though I'm learning, I'm still a babe in Christ. I'm, I like, I do, I've heard that if you really want an instruction manual, the Bible is the ultimate instruction manual to go to because it'll tell you how to treat your friends, how to be a good wife, how to be a good husband, how to be, you know, a good Christian. Are there anything that if I said Bible verses on how to take care of my body, mind, and spirit, are there any scriptures that... Talk about that. Does it the Bible say we shouldn't eat pork or we should <laughs> exercise or? It, you know, there is something in there. And, oh, and Shondale put there, Proverbs yes, 17, 22. Thank you, Shondale. You are a blessing. That's a good scripture. Start with that one right there. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bone. That's Proverbs mm -hmm. 17, 22. Mm -hmm. Above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. That's Proverbs 4, 20, 4 23. Exactly. And then anxiety weighs down the heart, but a kind word cheers it up. So that's yes, talking about the mental and the physical and the spirit. Exactly. All right. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, he, so, he talked about it all. Everything. Okay. And I'm glad that they did uh, put that in there because I was just saying, I said, without me, you know, getting in there and, and having it before me, but he does. Anything that you need is in that word. And yes, ma'am, I do not know all of it because I'm still looking myself, you know, and, and, uh, uh, and I, but I, you know, when I started off with, I, with Hosea, you know, lack of knowledge, you know, and of you having a lack of knowledge, that's something that you didn't want because it destroys you. So by you getting that, excuse me, by you getting that 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 word in just right there, just that scripture alone, meditate on that. Just okay. meditate on those right there. Just don't even don't overwhelm yourself. Stay focused. Well, thank that's you. That's for all so of us. That's for all of us. Well, thank you, Miss Shan. When I tell you I wanted this to be a lunch power hour i know people be saying oh lord i done worked all day when i had my lunch i'm trying to take my lunch <laughs> but this would have been the perfect thing to be able to get your lunch and also listen to it at the same time and i really want to pray on the i mean had that spin that this is a lunch power hour we were actually fed today we were fed yeah. with some good yeah. nuggets we were and i ate me an orange just because i had cooked oxtails last <laughs> night and i couldn't i didn't want to go downstairs and get oxtails so i ate me an orange but
but <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning. I ain't never said I was oh, great there, but I'm getting there. You're saying with me. You're saying with me. I am still learning. I am on the page myself, baby. There are some things, you know, because even when I think it was last last night, and I thought I must have forgot that I had I didn't have any potatoes, and I just got me one potato in the store, and I can't. But what I did, I added peppers. I love peppers. I love the colorful peppers, and I added those peppers in there. Put those colorful peppers in there. Then I put a little bit of uh, broccoli in it. Then I I basted it with grapeseed oil. I put it in with grapeseed oil. Then I put my garlic in it. Then I put my other girl. I'm tasting it right now. I feel like making it again because I ate it all up. Oh my I goodness! I said you don't want none, do you? Oh, she's uh, giving so thank you, Florence. Thank you so much. And these Bible verses, and what I'm gonna do is we're gonna actually upload this to YouTube. And yes. so when you get a chance, Miss Sharon, when we get off this call, I would like the name of that book you first mentioned. Um, you said it was a book that you was reading out of, you called her name, and I oh, want yeah. or if you could take a picture of it and send it to me, and I'll do it so that way I can put that there. Uh Kelton, yeah. if he can get that link for the vitamins, everything that you all have been putting in here, I'm going to break it down on the actual YouTube video in the description of it, but by the body, the mind, and the spirit of anything that was recommended and put that stuff in there so other folks can have this information um, who wasn't able to attend. But I really appreciate you so much. Thank you, Kelton. I appreciate you so much. Uh, we have one more event here at New Life Second Chance, which will be on January 31st. Okay. at 3 p.m. Eastern time, 2 p.m. Alabama time. And it is called, I am not your convict. Words mm -hmm. matter. And how to use, how uh, to use humanizing language um, to change stigmas. And the purpose of that event, again, is working with your mind. Yes. Uh, that if you don't think of yourself as a felon and an ex-con, that's not what you're going to do. And we want to ask the community to not use those type of words because they're mm -hmm. harmful as well. So we're hoping that you all will go to our website at www.nlscoinc.org and go to the upcoming events and register for those upcoming events. We have another financial event, a financial first Friday that's going to be coming up soon, either in February or March. We're going to be having a lot of financial opportunities. And I would love to invite you to come back, Miss Sharon, even if not on a monthly basis, but on a quarterly basis to give us another power hour on how we can live well. Because I have truly enjoyed this. And by the chat, Everybody seemed to have enjoyed it as well. And I just want to thank you so much for giving us a great hour of power. You have yes, truly yes. edified our mind, body, and our souls. Yes, and you have fed us. For me. <laughs> so thank you all so very much for joining us. And uh, we will actually post, once we get it uploaded on YouTube, we will be sharing this on our Facebook page. Okay. Thank yes. you thank all. You. Have thank a great you, day. So thank much. you. you all right. Thank you. Y'all have a good one. You too. All right.